Hello everyone, welcome to Alumni Tricks. There is a question in lead code power x comma n. So here in this question actually we are, uh, it is asking we can have uh, two uh, input x and n. So we need to find the power of x. Okay, so uh, let's understand what this question is asking. So the question is asking uh, we can have let's say x is Two and let's say n is two, so we need to find the x to the to the power n. So it will be two to be a two. So we need to return four. Okay, so we can have also minus uh, negative power also. So let's say x is equal to two and n is equal to minus two. Okay, so we need to have two to the power minus two. It means what? One to the power two. So 1 divided by 4, so it will be 0 0.25, okay. So we need to return this, right. So uh, we'll handle we'll handle the negative case also. So let's understand how we can solve this, okay. So uh, let's say uh, x is given, uh, let's say x is given is 2 and n is given as 4, okay. So now how I can write the power function so I can the basic approach will be like this right so I can take the for loop so it will go i equals to 1 to 4 this 1 to 4 this is of n n iteration right then I can have one power variable so power equals to power into right so these many times so four times it will multiply okay so we'll get the uh, result but if you see this is like taking big of n time number of let's say we have we need to find n 10 to the 9 so in this case it will fail right so it will it will take lots of time so we need to understand the better approach okay so better approach we can think about like let's say um, let's say x is given as 2 okay n is given as 4 can i write like this uh, can i write so it means what? 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 4 times 2 okay so i can also write like this right 2 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 2 okay i can write like this also okay similarly let's take x is equal to 2 and n is equal to odd okay 5 so i can write like this 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 right also i can like this write like this 2 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 2 into 2 right okay so from this example from this example uh, I can do I can also break this one also right so I can break like this 2 to the 1 2 to the 1 this one also I can break 2 to the 1 2 to the 1 right similarly this one also I can break 2 to the 1 2 to the 1 this is also 2 to the 1 2 to the 1 right so it means what so we are we are breaking bigger number to bigger number to smaller okay so in this case we need to use recursion using recursion we will easily solve this one so what we will do we will divide by 2 n by 2 so it will become then n by 4 right then it will become n by 8 so the time complexity will goes to log okay so the obviously the first basic approach is not good so this one is the better than that approach okay so how we can write like write this so we can have one function we can have one function let's say uh, power okay we can have int x int n okay now here so 2 to the power 0 means what 2 to the power 0 means what 1 so if power is 0 then we need to 
return one right so here we need to check if n equals to equals to zero then return one right and we need to call this power function uh, recursively right so we can have one int a is equal to power function we call the x value will be x so we need to divide it by 2 right we need to do divided by 2 so this n by 2 we need to do okay then for for uh, uh, for even we are using 2 to the 2 to the 2 for off we we need to explicitly uh, multiply with 1x right so what i mean i can write like this if the n is uh, n is even then i can return a into a this is the power function right a into a right otherwise otherwise i need to return i need to return a into a this power function then x explicitly i need to uh, multiply this right x okay so that's all this is the power function we found okay now for the negative case what we can do so x let's say equals to 2 but n is minus 2 okay so in this case what we can do x to the n means what 2 to the minus 2 right i can write like this 2 to the 2 okay so 1 by 4 okay so this part i can this part basically i can calculate with uh, this method right this power method okay then once i get once i so return will be int okay so uh, forget about the syntax return will be int so it will return some value right so it will return this power function will return some value let's say b okay then i need to return the main uh, from the main method like i need to return one divided by b then i'll get the answer right okay so let's code this one i think after coding maybe you will understand clearly okay so what i mean first of all i need to check uh, i need to check if n is 0 okay then i will return 1 directly okay let's say here i need to take one variable i need to check whether this n is negative or not okay boolean each negative initially i will make it as false okay then i will check if n is smaller than 0 it means what it is negative so each negative will be true okay now i need to i need to have one method i need to have one method which will give the power okay so i can have so i need to return as a double right so the return type should be double let me make it to double this one okay so double let's say a okay this is my power function here i need to pass the x value and n value okay so before that here if it is negative then i need to make it as positive right so here n equals to minus 1 into n so it will become negative or we can use the um, absolute value okay so math dot apps we can use okay so let me create the power function double power so here i can have int int x int n right so here 
I need to have I need to call this power function recursive, recursively so it will be double double result let's say power then I need to pass the x and it should be divided by 2 n should be divided by 2 okay now we need to check if n is um, negative sorry n is uh, primary prime or not so now i need to check okay now i need to check whether n is odd or even so n percentile 2 is equal to 0 then it is even so i need to return res into res right otherwise i need to return return res into res into the x okay but we need to put here the base condition if 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 n is so we are dividing by n by 2 right so it will become to it will become 0 one point of time so here also we need to check if n equals to equal to 0 then return 1 right return 1 for dot 0 because it is double so here here we got the value right now we need to check if if it is negative n is negative if each negative is true then i need to return 1 divided by a right otherwise i need to return a i don't need to do anything okay so let's check this okay i'm getting some error the same so here basically i need to pass double i need to assign double here double type okay just compile this okay just submit it okay it is working fine right okay so hope you understood this approach thank you for watching this video